Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, we will be learning how to fully customize our Google search bar. So this way we can go from something as old and boring as this into something just a little bit more customized. Now, if you are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy's Promo and you own a Samsung Galaxy device, don't forget to hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for future videos. And don't forget about that playlist tab on the very top to check out all the videos I've made so far for the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. To begin this video, we will first take off the Google search bar. So just in case if you don't have this Google search bar on your home screen, this is how you're able to add it. Go anywhere on any of your home screens that is blank and empty. When you press and hold, it'll show you wallpapers, themes, widgets, and the home screen settings. If you head over into widgets, you will actually scroll through here and try to find where it says Google and it is in alphabetical order. So here is the Google widgets. Once I click on there, this is where you see that Google search bar. So once you press and hold, this is where you're able to place it anywhere on your screen. You are able to either make it shorter, you can make it medium, you can make it long. You can really make it however you want it to. So for me, mine's usually right around this length. Now, once you've added that widget to your homepage, you might notice that yours looks a little bit different than mine. And all you'd have to do is just tap on that Google widget. And then the very top left hand side, you'll see where that little icon of G is at. And this takes you inside of that Google application that's on your phone. Now, once inside of here on the very bottom right hand side, it says more. You'll tap that and this is where you have recents and collections, customize widget and settings. So this is where you'll tap on customize widget and you have four different areas or different ways of customizing that little Google search bar widget. So the very first one is how you want Google to be shown or represented. Do you want it to be as the full word or do you want it to be that little G as the icon? So I like the full word of Google. Then the very second one right over here is going to be the bar shape. Do you want it to be a square? Do you want it to be a little rounded or do you want it to be fully rounded? And then the third one is going to be the color. And once you click on this one here, you can actually tap it again and it makes it black. And let's say that you wanted to completely change the color itself. It's going to be this very last icon. And this is where you can pretty much go through and put it as any color that you would like. So let's say you put it as green. Um, you can also change a little bit of the transparency, how dark it is um, and everything else. Do you want it lighter? Do you want it darker? And however you want your little Google search bar to show up, this is how you're able to basically set it. Now, when you're done, you hit on close. And on the very top right hand side, you hit on done. And when you're completely finished, now your Google search bar is completely customized for you. And again, don't worry about it. Uh, if you do want to alter this a little bit later on, you are able to take it all the way down. You can make it small, you can make it large, however you want it to look. And also, let's say you wanted to start fresh with it. If you go all the way down to the bottom and you go back to that customized widget, you are able to set it back to the normal setting of when it was on your phone when you first got it out of the box. But really fast, I do wanna switch this right back to where I was. So you guys can pretty much see how fast this is going to be. Um, and so let's just say that I'm gonna go right back to kind of where it was from before. I already played with this color. It pretty much saved it from before. I'm gonna hit on close, hit on done. And then now I've got it right back to where I was from before. Now, if you're not that familiar with this Google widget, all it is is a small widget. It's something that's active. It's a little icon that's on your screen that you're able to ask it questions. So if you tap on that little line, it'll take it up to where you can start typing things out or you can actually hit on the microphone itself and you're able to speak into your phone and it's also able to search things that way. And so it makes your life just a little bit easier. So I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit on subscribe right over here, this very bottom left-hand side circle. You can subscribe that way. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. And outside of that, I'll see you guys later.